Happy Saturday morning. I love Saturdays. One of my most favourite days, partly because it has a bit more of a playful feel to it for me. And I get, I, I definitely, not only today, but tomorrow as well on Sundays, I try to dedicate some time to my creative projects and um, my art because it's a big part of who I am and I just love it. Okay, so we're day 11 already. Oh my gosh, this is going so fast, this 30 today. Hey, Carolyn, how are you? Cherie, good morning. I wanted to chat about a couple of things this morning, um, just some interesting observations. In coming in, I'm trying to give you something of value and share something every day when we're doing our cortices technique, whether it's teaching you something about the brain or similar. And um, I don't know whether you have seen on a Netflix, there is a brand new TV series and it's called Touch. And it's wonderful. I really, really love it. I've just been so, so busy with sessions and writing content for programs and courses lately that I needed something to be able to like sink myself into and debrief and let my imagination run wild and courtesies, uh, sorry, going into Netflix and finding this TV program was one of those things. And I found this wonderful um, program called Touch and it's about this young boy who perceives reality via his five senses through um, numbers and we, we know when you do much deeper study the entire universe is is mathematical it's built on numbers so we have this whole new breed of human being coming into this planet that observe reality via their five senses, their six senses, in a very different way to what a lot of other people do. And it goes into concepts such as cause and effect. And it's absolutely fascinating. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because when I had this feeling of what I wanted to talk about when I came in to do today's courtesies with you all, is I wanted to talk about the five or six senses. Because, um, Sometimes there's this thing that can happen where they become uh, unstructured. They don't communicate very well with one another, which they're meant to be. So you don't just have one sense that acts on its own and does its own little job and has nothing to do with anybody else. Say, for example, the sense of hearing. Every single sense has its own role to play, its own personality from a consciousness point of view. And it's so important that not only are those five senses communicating with one another, but they have harmony and they have synchronization. So what happens if even one or a couple of those senses, the timing gets thrown out just ever so slightly, like even by a couple of nanoseconds, it can cause quite a few things. It can cause you to feel quite disjointed. So this feeling of that you hear, but you don't really feel like you hear. It's an unusual feeling. You can get a lot of deja vu. Now, sometimes there is like, uh, I want to say it's not really the right word, but it's legitimate deja vu, where deja vu is happening, and that's a completely different topic that we can discuss another day. Or... It can give us this feeling of deja vu, like we've had this experience before, that we've seen it happen, we've heard it, we've heard it happen, we have this familiar sense with what's going on in the present moment. Sometimes the reason why deja vu can be happening is because there's a real mismatch in the timing, the synchronization, the coordination, the harmonization of the five senses, and it's that the information coming in, streaming in by the five senses is not integrating properly into the body-mind complex. So obviously a technique which is fantastic for helping recalibrate the five senses, for helping to get them back into a really beautiful rhythm and flow is the court assist technique. So if you're feeling ever a little bit disjointed, feeling a little bit strange, if there's any one particular issue going on with five senses and 
uh, when we talk about the five senses, we have both the normal and the subtle aspect to those. And um, this new program that I, well, it's not a new program. I have been teaching a program in person for quite a few years and I'm completely recalibrating it so that it can be taught in an online environment. We talk about the subtle aspects and the normal aspects of the five senses extensively because there's a very particular way that information comes from your environment into the body. So in via the Wei Qi, in via the gallbladder meridian, filters in through the five senses up through the four ventricles of the brain into the hologram of the brain. It's a really fascinating uh, process. So that is really on my mind a lot and a lot of information around the five senses keeps coming up presenting to me, which is why I thought we'd talk about it today. So if you have any questions about that, any observations, if you can remember times in your life where you have felt sort of like a little bit disjointed or you felt like parts of you weren't connected properly, and that can be, you know, your spiritual self or physical parts of your body not connected properly. That can be an issue with the five senses. So bringing our attention to all five senses today, both the normal aspect and the subtle aspect, we have hearing, sight, smell, taste and touch. We're going to tap out our cortices to our five senses. Now, if you want to go ahead and just calibrate those five senses, which means that we just want to bring the brain's attention to them, you can pop hands gently on the ears for sense of hearing, fingers gently on the eyes for sense of sight, on the nose for sense of smell, tip of the tongue for sense of taste. And just touch on touch. You can even do it over the heart complex if you want to for a sense of touch. And then what we're going to do is go straight into cortices. So hand on the base of the brain for the occiput, nice big deep breaths in and out. And remember we're tapping over all three brains. When you're tapping over the gut brain, because you can't see it on the screen, is I'm tapping just about an inch above the area of the belly button. And when I'm focusing on my gut brain, I'm focusing on that area of the small intestines. Moving my hand up one hand width. Really exaggerated breathing. A lot of people rush this technique. I notice it a lot. I think it's something that sometimes you can get really complacent with. And you can also become really familiar with it. And when you have something that you feel really familiar with, you can have a tendency to rush through and not even realise it. And for me, I think it's one of those techniques that we've talked about this before, your attention and your intention actually forms the whole basis of the technique. It's a big deal. So I really take my time in it. and right around to the front of the brain. Remember, if you feel like you want to stay at one particular area of brain, like the heart brain or the gut brain, longer and tap, do that. You don't need to know the reason. If it just feels like you need to do that, then completely just follow your instincts. Okay, sides of the brain, temporal lobes. Now, you might find that over the next couple of minutes, couple of hours, it could last for the whole day, that while there's some focus on those five senses and they're recalibrating and resynchronizing themselves. You could find that you get a little bit lightheaded. You can have real anything really popping up around that. I've seen so many different ways that that shows up. And 
it's going to be unique for everybody and it's always always going to be based on what your innate wisdom knows that needs to happen in that moment and how it needs to happen and also the timing of that so how long that needs to be recalibrated for so it's something that could take all day and it might need to cycle through a couple of times a day so if you do feel lightheaded if you have an acute sense of smell for whatever reason today if you go off a particular food that you would normally really love that's okay that's really okay and if you feel like that you want to do cortices again later today um, with the intention of recalibrating your five senses, then you can go through the same process. Just bring the brain's attention by touch to any of those areas and then go ahead and tap out your cortices. So I can see that nobody's asked me any questions. So I'm guessing that you're all A-OK -okay with everything. Um, if anything comes up for you, if you think of anything later, which quite often, that happens to me all the time I think of questions later then put them into this post uh, specifically and I will answer them I'm gonna love you and leave you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow morning for day 12 my ladies <laughs> see you